Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Printables by V and today we will talk about the easiest way of importing digital planners and stickers into PDF annotation apps such as GoodNotes, Notability and others. Also, we will talk about how to download the files from Etsy while working on iPad or any other tablet and at the end of the video we will see how to unzip an archive with PNG stickers on your iPad and use them in Notability in other apps. So let's get started. The first thing is to download the files from Etsy. When you purchase digital files from Etsy, they send you an email with a link to the files. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on Etsy app. That is why you need to log into your Etsy account using browser. I'm using Safari, but you can use Google Chrome or any other browser. Of course, you can use a computer for that if you want and then load the files firstly on your computer and then transfer them to your tablet using iCloud, iDrop or sending them to yourself by email. So, let's see how you can download the files from Etsy and import them into your PDF annotation app. So, firstly, you need to open Etsy's main page in your browser, then click U, Purchases and Reviews, then choose the file you want to download and click Download Files, then scroll down and click the Download button, accept the download, wait for a little bit for the file to be downloaded, then click this button and choose the file you need. After that, it will open in a new tab and you need to click this export button. So here we have a lot of variants of where you can import uh, this file. So for example, I have Notability and GoodNotes. So let's choose GoodNotes and click on it and accept and import as a new document. And here we have it. Our file is imported into GoodNotes and we can use it. Now let's talk about importing sticker packs into GoodNotes. Uh, GoodNotes has this nice feature where it allows you to save files with pre-cut stickers in it. This file can be saved and accessed by other GoodNotes users later. This file name ends with .goodnotes and you can download it the same way I've just shown you. After you've downloaded the file, you can open it in your browser as we did with the previous file or you can just save it to your files and then open it from there. I will be working from the files app. Let's look at our iPad screen again. If you can't find the files, uh, just type their names in the search bar on the top. So, for example, I'm typing good notes, so the file system would search for files that contain that name. Uh, let's choose this one, uh, wait for it uh, to upload, and then click export button on the top and choose open in good notes. Uh, then accept and click uh, open as a new document. And here we have it, our sticker pack. Uh, to use the stickers you need to click this button on the top, then choose lasso tool and circle in the middle of a sticker you want to copy, then click the screen, click copy, then open the file you want to copy a sticker to, again click the screen and choose paste. So here you can rotate, move the sticker around and change its size. But what if you have Notability or Zoom Notes instead of GoodNotes app? How to use the stickers then? This part of the video is for you. As other apps don't support sticker packs as GoodNotes does, the stickers were saved by me as individual PNG files with transparent background. Then I packed them in a zip archive, which file name ends with .zip. You can download this type of file the same way we've downloaded other files from Etsy using your iPad or computer. We will be using iPad for that. 
After the download for your zip file started, you need to wait for a few seconds so the file will be fully downloaded, then click the export button and select save to files. You can choose iCloud, Drive or iPad as storage for saving. I will be saving it to my iPad. Then let's open files and here we have our file. Again, if you can't find it, just type its name in the search bar on the top. Then let's click on it and it will start unzipping automatically. Then let's open it and we need to select some files which we need to save to our gallery. We can select all or we can select some of them. I will select only two. Then you need to click share and save images. So they are saved and if you open your gallery you will see the files here. Now let's talk about using these stickers in Notability and other PDF annotation apps besides GoodNotes after you've saved them to your gallery. I will be using Notability but this process is quite similar for any other PDF annotation app. Let's open Notability and choose the planner we want our stickers to be imported to. Then click at this plus button, select photo gallery and pick the PNG stickers that we saved from that zip archive previously. And here you have it. Now you can rotate it and change its size. So the last topic for this video is using clickable tabs in GoodNotes and other apps. The main thing you need to remember is to turn off the writing and selection tools before clicking the tabs so you won't write on the pages instead of clicking on them. Let's see how it works in GoodNotes. I'm going to find a PDF planner in my files and then import it into GoodNotes. So I've chosen this cute green planner. I will open it in GoodNotes. And by the way, all the files presented in this video could be found in my shop, which you can visit by clicking the link in the description below. And here we have our green planner in GoodNotes. You can scroll the pages manually or you can click this button, which disables writing, and you can click on tabs after that. If you are using Notability or other PDF annotation apps, just click hand icon or scissors. And I think that is all you need to know about importing and using digital planners and stickers. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or write me a message on Etsy. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!